So today we will be talking about the ZVS driver. Uh, it's also called the zero voltage switching driver. It's a very efficient driver because the voltage switching happens at zero volts. That's why it's called the zero voltage switching driver. Um, it can be used in induction heating, can be used in driving flyback transformers to create high voltage, uh, it can be used in wireless power transmission, uh, in general it has many uses. Uh, <laughs> so, what do we have here now? We have a diagram. This is the circuit diagram. This is the generic uh, configuration of an NPN MOSFET. Pin 1 is called gate, pin 2 is called drain, and pin 3 is called source. What happens in this circuit is these two MOSFETs are constantly turning on and off. When Q1 is on, Q2 is off. When Q2 is off, Q1 is on. And so on and so forth. And what happens is the charges are pulled back and forth into the resonant circuit. This is a self-resonant circuit, meaning whatever we put out on the output self-resonates with the whole circuit. And that's the magic of it. So, our components. We have the RFP for 60 MOSFET chosen for this. Uh, I wish we had the RFP 460M, but they were out of it. So, yeah. Let's follow the diagram. And now I will connect this diode from gate to drain and this diode from gate to drain. So now we have connected the base of this transistor into the drain of this and the base of this to the drain of the other. Now what we'll do is we'll take two Zener diodes and place them between gate and source and do the other on the second MOSFET. Now as you can see we have added the Zener diodes between source and gate and source and gate and we must add those two 10 kilo ohm resistors to protect the Zener diodes also between source and gate and between source and gate. As you can see, we have added the 10 kilo ohm resistors between gate and source. And now we will be adding our negative terminal. So we will bend the sources of both MOSFETs. Hope you can see that. And we will solder it over here. Now we will add those two inductors. These are red ferrite inductors, not yellow ferrite, not iron powder ferrite. I use them because they work at a higher frequency. And I like higher frequency. 
now we have connected its end of the ferrite to the drain of its MOSFET and now we will be adding our positive terminal which is a resistor divider in this side over here so now uh, on this positive terminal we will be adding two two watt uh, 220 ohm resistor from the base from the gate of its MOSFET to the positive terminal and now we have this final component which is a capacitor which we will be adding to the drain of its MOSFET and this is the finished circuit these are the outputs let's see now how it works does it resonate does it self resonate we'll be taking out the oscilloscope and seeing so we have our scope here um, let's connect positive to positive and let's connect the ground and you can see the circuit is self oscillating at 55 kilohertz so now let's see some practical applications of the circuit now I've connected the output of the primary winding of the flyback transformer to the output of the ZVS driver let's power the circuit let's see you can clearly see the arc forming So now let's see how induction heating works. Here I have an induction heating coil and we will place inside the blade of these scissors. And as you can see it works pretty nice so as you can see this little circuit I have over here is the same with the one I have over here this one is just better built in a circuit board just for my ease of use the connections are pretty simple the diagram I showed you is over here so you can build it at home if you so wish to it's a fun project to make and mostly it's an easy one and it's the basis of many exciting circuits um, from high voltage to induction heating to wireless power transmission which I have a video coming on very soon um, as do with induction heating and well I hope you liked it and thank you for watching um, bye bye and I will see you on the next one